Select a file to delete. No, do not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we here, we need to get, we've got three enemy cards that we need to get, and we also need to get a, the Ultima Weapon attack card. Uh, so the attack card, it says, is randomly dropped from breakables in Castle Oblivion or bought from Moogle shops after clearing Sora and Riku's story and saving the game. Uh, the drop rate seems higher in Calm Bounty Rooms. Okay. Yeah, that's what I told you earlier. Oh, sorry. I, I wasn't paying attention. I, I, I do apologize. Now, I can't... Yeah. Um, the problem is I can't... Um, okay, I think I'm going to... I'm going to backtrack what I just said, actually. Track back. All right, we need to go... Where do we need to go? We need to go to Destiny Islands, Castle Oblivion, Twilight Town. Because they all need calm bounty rooms, I think. So let's start off in Twilight Town. The interesting thing, which um, obviously I haven't showcased in this game um, during my playthrough, is when you travel through the different floors, your entire progress in each world gets wiped. So you have to basically start all over again with um, different things, which is not ideal, but interesting nonetheless. So from Twilight yep. Town, we are looking for the Anson card. If you say hey, so. there you go. There's our Anson card. I'm really glad that I made notes. When I was doing my, uh, <laughs> when I was doing my little um, looky through. All right, well we're done with Twilight Town. Let's head to. Destiny Islands. Could be like the quickest quickest way to get four cards in history. Alright, Destiny Islands. And again we're gonna use a Palm Bounty in Destiny Islands. You wanna see how um OP it gets with this character when you've uh, ground out to level 99 and done pretty much everything else on your save file. Ah, you're down with OPP. Yeah, you this. know me. Take Just like pretty much instantly kills everybody. Yep, we're so, done. <laughs> so this is the Disney version of the Half-Life Super Gravity Gun. Yeah. Super Gravity Gun. God, I love that so much. That was just so satisfying. <laughs> okay, hopefully this will be... Um, Zexion. Hey, there he is. almost like it's all pre-planned and I've staged this all. Yep. Alright, next we have got finally uh, back to Castle Oblivion, and we have two more cards that we need to get. Well, go ahead and do that. Ant Smasher! Achievement on lock. Ant Smasher? Yeah, they... They just seem like walking ants to me without the six six blades. From from this moment forwards, the heartless the heartless will be known as ant smashers. <laughs> there we go. I'm proud of that. Ant smasher five thousand. Boom! It's a key. It's a big key. And y'all get blown. Schmipperines. Uh, 
Walking I'm not looking around. forward to. I'm not looking forward to doing the grinding though for like Riku's max level because I don't feel like you can clear the enemies as easily as you can with Sora. So I feel like the Riku side of it is going to be a proper grind. Yeah, no thanks for grinding. Kill that ant. Right, I need two calm bo calm booty rounds. No, we need two calm bounty rooms. One we need an ultimate weapon from. The other we need uh, Exius. Oh, there's our ultimate weapon. We use another one. Should now get Exius, and we can draw a line under Sora's story. So I'll say file is complete. Boom! Lexius! Give me those achievements. Cardmaster Sora. <laughs> Keeper, uh -huh. record keeper Sora. <laughs> and that should be my journal completed. Oh. Hundred percent. Now, uh, where is my new cards? Well, look at you. There is one, two other cards I can get though. Aren't part of the hundred percent. What is it? Is it a super meat boy card? It is not, no. Ah, well, because you'll just... see, my I don't have... Uh, although I've completed the journal, I don't have gold... Um, I don't have gold Mickey symbols, Nick. Um, so there is actually a platinum and gold card you can get. Let's see. Well, I'm, I'm super... Types. I need to remember how to get them. You, you reach out and grab them. That's my suggestion. But you know. Um. Jiminy Cricket. Alright, so I'm gonna go and I think I've gotta open up some more calm bounty rooms. I believe. Yeah, choose an entry, man. Come on. Good job I have a stockpile of these things. There's the gold card. So what's the bay? This will be the platinum card. This seems way too easy. Yeah, easy game. Why did it take me 46 hours to get to this point? I mean, come on. Oh no. There it's is the bit. platinum card. So now if I go back to the journal. We have Mickey ears on everything because we are completed. There they are, right at the end. Our platinum and gold cards. What well, do they actually do? Absolutely nothing. Because you already finished the game. Allows premium cards to be reloaded. Wow, that's pretty special. But yeah, nothing because I've already completed the game, I agree. <laughs> And invincible cards, you will receive no damage for 20 attacks. Ah, oh, dang. I think I've got to put this to the test. That that <laughs> seems kind of helpful, you know what I mean? I mean, why couldn't they have given me that at the beginning of the game? Well, 
because sucked at the beginning. Did they, well, why on earth did they make me grind that much? I, it's just, yeah. Bad, bad game design. Yep. One hundred percent. Wouldn't recommend. Nope. Zero, zero out of ten. What are you talking about? Well, zero. Jeez. Point, point five. I'll give him point five. All right, let's see how broken this card is. Oh, well, I would. I, I yeah, would. It's, yeah. it's very broken because I don't even have it equipped. Ah. <laughs> let's try um, actually equipping the card first. Yeah, the ants were starting to kick your ass. I mean... Take out those nines. Bing, bing, bada, bing. That's 99 points to put it in my deck. You can't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just like 20 cards like their attracts. I could stand here all day. It's 20 of my cards. I mean, at this point in the game, when I've got Mega Flare, I don't particularly need to worry about being invisible because Mega Flare just kills everything in the room pretty much. I, I think, uh, if I'm following, I think you have a slight advantage here. Or I could just do this and just walk everybody out of the room. I mean, that clears the room as well. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Jeez. It just goes to show, like, how broken, how broken you can, like, this game can get when um, you can do stupid stuff like that. Well, they only let you do it after you already win. Yeah. It's kind of like a thing that, like, you know what? You you want to spend a bit more time going around it? Be our guest. We'll make it really easy for you. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let me go back to the menu. And... Well, you know, 83%. All right, so... I load up my Riku file again. I want to just check here. Where am I actually? Where am I missing? Stuff like from my card collection. Uh, you're missing all the Super Meat Boy card. Missing one card in Riku Rechain of Memories. Let's have a look. See what. Googly Googly says that's missing card for Riku. Uh, have I got the random joke card? Let me see if I can find the picture. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got the random Joker card. Ah. Huh. Uh, um, Riku. Card collection. I just want to see a picture of the card collection. Yep, it's the random Joker is the one that I am missing. Which is annoying. It's like the name kind of uh, suggests. I think it's pretty random showing up. OK, 
Okay, so we need to try and play for a random joker. Um... Need to also get all attack bonuses. Riku's max attack point attribution is 30, which you can get up to once you hit level 59. Okay, no attack bonuses for Riku. Let me pull up my rechain guide here that I've been using to help me get bits and pieces. Don't need that one anymore. 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 Oh, I've seriously cleared out my freaking list of resources that I'd saved. Um, what am I looking for? Obtain all. Uh, hard here. That's what I'm looking for. What do we need to do for hard hitter? Can't even see the frickin' Is there? Uh, okay, so you can increase Riku's attack points once every three levels, starting from level two. Riku can have up to 30 AP, and the earliest you can obtain this trophy is level 59. AP increases the amount of damage Riku deals with each hit, so it's advised to always choose this when available. Okay, so we just got basically got AP up to level 30. That's fine. We can do that. Um, what was this one? Okay, that'll unlock naturally. And... Max out Riku's levels. Okay, well, I guess I'll just, like, finish off the stream trying to just grind out this card, I guess. Um... Sounds like a plan. Alright, I don't know how long... I mean, this might take me freaking forever to get this. This is the problem. Um... Yeah, this... The only card that's safe from obtaining this trophy on your first play for Riku story is Random Joker, which is a map card that drops at random. Uh, you may get lucky and get one really early, or it may not drop until you're grinding levels. So, I guess we just gotta keep keep grinding, 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 grinding. So, uh, we need some conversations, DW. Keep us going through this grind. What are we going to talk about? Oh, well, uh, I was just listening to you. So. You're just listening to me. Yeah. Uh, who could not adore the English accent of the Knox Get Me, Skit Knock Me? Nick's got me. 
sure most people could probably do without hearing my accent and my voice on regular occasions. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, you're fantastic, my dear. We need to uh, get together at some point and start work on the next podcast. I know I said it last week, but... Yeah. Um, we, we've had some... We've had some moments. Oh, hold on. I'm really annoyed actually because I was I don't know what I was thinking about the weekend but I thought of a topic and I thought yeah that would be really good to talk about on the podcast and of course like an idiot didn't write down what that idea was I completely forgot about it I forgot about it I can't remember now what I thought yeah it'd be really good to talk about this but no it's gone yeah uh, I can say I 100% get that like oh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna forget this uh, it's, it's right there in my brain I'm not gonna forget this and then three minutes later it's like oh uh, hey no oh shit yeah uh wait no I swear I had I had an idea it was good <laughs> I, know, I just I, it, it bugs me because it's like I I thought about it and I was like yeah that'd be a re that would be a really good topic to like discuss. And then for the life of me, I cannot remember what it was. Oh, I know, it was uh, Talos Principle Two. Talos yeah. Principle Two. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Maybe yep. it was um, the Super Meat Boy DLC. Uh, yep. Super Meat Boy. <laughs> Definitely Super Meat Boy. Kick those ants' asses. Their antenna uh, kind of annoys me. There you bad mouth the Neo Shadows. No, they're ants. What are you talking about? I don't even know what they are. How did you finish this game? What? I haven't finished this game, what are you talking about? Oh. Yeah. You're right. I'm still playing, can't you see? Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I forgot. My bad. Recover. We're playing Super Mario Brothers. Bounce, bounce. Like on the turtle shells. And... Yep. Little shells of doom. Oh, I need to get rid of some cards here. Get rid of all these bottomless darkness cards because I don't like these rooms. It's like we're two levels off getting the max level on the for the hard hitter as well, but I think it said on the information I read that you only get that option every th three levels you upgrade so in effect I need to do another go up another six levels just to get that uh, last bit so that's gonna not that's come anytime that. soon sounds legit yep I get rid of all these cards that I don't really want uh, yeah that'll be fine Yep, totally fine. It's fine. Wait I'm 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 Wait on board. Yep. 
totally fine. He is on board, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I need to... Yeah, I need to remake this room. I was like, why isn't Stagnant there any enemies? Face. It's like, why isn't there any enemies here? Oh, that's right. I need to remake the room. Oh, well, no, it said it's stagnant. So. Well, it was very stagnant, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, come on. Will you leave me alone? Wow. No freaking health left at the time even getting to this room. Uh, and kicked your ass. Oh, there's an ant. Ooh. Ant. Oh, that's nice. The thing is, though, you can't hit them when they're either when they're in the ground, which is really annoying. That's because you don't have a super gravity gun. Well, of course, I forgot about that. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude. You, you gotta have the super gravity gun. That was Disney thinking for this game. Oh, I forget. They weren't. They didn't make it. That one's all on Square Enix. Square Enix? Yep. Uh, I, I always said Square Enix. Well, I, I actually called them Squaresoft by their original name from way back when. Ah, true that. Yep. That's how I remember them. Squaresoft. Yep. I remember the, the splash screen. Take this. Yeah, it was just like a little white, it's white writing with a bit of red on it somewhere. Like it. Uh, yeah, no idea. It's been so long. I, I, I just kind of remember a splash screen. Like it. And I always said it as Square Enix. That was just because I have no clue. Okay, so what do you know about the Greek gods and Prometheus? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, answer? cool. That's damn. You're spot on. Is that not the right answer? No, that was 100% the correct answer. Oh. Do I get extra credits for getting out my first attempt? Oh, absolutely. I, mean, I, I don't know what else I can do. Bam! Right on point, and... What about Athena? No. No way. I'll be honest, I, like, when I was at school, I, I didn't ever remember us kind of doing... Um, mythology that much so it's not really a subject that I'm familiar with if I'm honest yeah I, yeah, I, I have to say the same thing 
it, it was more upon, at least for me, what you, what you read. And yeah, uh, it, it, it was. Uh, I mean, it, we we did have stuff about the Greek gods, and a little bit of uh, about like. Uh, the Egyptian stuff and... Do you remember Nordic. stuff about the Egyptians? I just don't remember, like, doing anything about mythology or, like, the Nordic gods or anything like that. Um, and then, like, I got, like, my kids coming home from school and they're like, oh, don't like talking about it. And I was like, well, I never did this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, it was pretty pointless. It, it was more... Uh, that, at least that I recall, it was, it was pretty much just, I, I mean, just storybook stuff, because, I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, no biggie. I mean, I know, I know a little, I know some of the Greek gods, um, from just... Watching things and like the, there's quite a lot of games that have references to like the Greek gods and things. So, I mean, okay. I don't know, like the Talos principle. <laughs> Wait, there's Greek gods in the Talos principle? No, I swear, I swear there isn't. Don't believe a word I said. Nope, nope, nope. You, I know you played the first one, but nope, you didn't see that there either, so. <sighs> so what's on your schedule for the rest of the week, buddy? Anything uh, do, do what? What's on your schedule for the rest of the week? Uh, well, today's Wednesday, right? It is. Okay, so tomorrow, Friday, I'll be out of town. But I can make things happen. I don't know, I'm just making idle chit chat. I'm gen genuinely asking what's on your schedule. Yeah. Well, you said schedule. So that kind of confused me for a moment. Because we don't have schedules here. There we go. <laughs> or can we, we have faith English we, again? We, we have schedules. <laughs> I, I, honestly, though, I know I've said it before. I've I really loved the, the British way of way of talking about uh like a way of saying certain words left uh, oh it's probably not even the british thing it's probably just the knock the knock way of saying certain words if i'm honest no no i have to say i've heard i've heard it from uh, plenty of british people including the brits that live over here and wait there, there's like, there's brits that jump ship and came to live over there what yeah yeah i know it's crazy man it's crazy you wouldn't believe it but america uh okay sell it into your seat you won't believe this there there's people from every place on the planet living here what are you for real what sort of crazy talk is that yeah, I, I know. It's hard to believe, but it's true. It, it, there's Asian, Japanese, Chinese, there's Mexican, there's K 
Cambodian, there's Puerto Rican, there's uh, British. I'm sorry, you're just, you're just <laughs> making countries and places up now. <laughs> well, that's what I do. You should know me by now. I 100% made every bit of that up. Yeah, Spain, like, you know, Spanish. Oh my goodness. People, people don't realize that Spain, in Spain, people speak Spanish. Just like in Mexico. Yo, <laughs> Snipes with the raid of eight. Welcome, Holy guys. crap. Eight, eight people. What are we going to do with this crowd? Oh, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, we have actually just finished um, our um, Riku playthrough. Yep. Uh, good night. Have a, have a good one. Oh, we need to play uh, uh, Marvelous on stream. No, I haven't even got that installed anymore, to be honest. Oh, my God, dude. What's wrong with you? That should, that should be a go-to. Bam. Especially on Twitch. That's a go-to. Uh, yeah, we, have, we haven't done that in forever. We need to do that. Pipe down, American man. Um, <laughs> what, what have you been playing tonight, Sipes? So you been back on Pokemon grinding again tonight? Or have you been playing something different? Welcome, Raiders, again. Good to see everybody. Um, Hype said, how do you feel about the game as a whole now that the story is, is going? It's definitely laid some markers for, like, Kingdom Hearts 2, I think definitely seems like this was more of like a consolidation game to kind of um, bring certain aspects of the story together so I'm I'm excited to uh, jump into two I think as I've said before I might need to just um, have a bit of a summary or watch a bit of a summary just to make sure I got the gist of the story but I think you said before like the the whole plot of this game can probably be summed up in like a single paragraph so I don't think I'm Missing a great amount. Super Meat Boy! Oh, you and your Super Meat Boy, will you shut up? It's <laughs> Quest 8 tonight. Oh. Hope it's going well. Well, I'm not feeling to hurt, and I'm offended. You're offended? Yeah, I don't I know. Struggled to, I struggle to believe you're offended. Uh, uh, I don't know what I shall do. So, um, just as an update as to like what I'm actually doing here, since we finished the story, I'm just kind of seeing out the stream by grinding a little bit more towards the Platinum. Um of which I've got. Yeah, he's kicking these ants' ass. That's what he's doing. Um, yeah, I've got, if I can actually get across to the game, um, one, two, three, four, four more trophies for Platinum. So we're just slowly, um, slowly chipping away at um, our Platinum trophy here. Um, I've been at 500 for like ages, bone wash, to be fair. Um, but I took a massive break from streaming, um, so a lot of the, a lot of the regulars, um, well, coming in, I guess I could say. Um, that and I kind of have changed quite a lot the the what I stream, so. Yeah, so that, that is the plan, um, Hype. So next up, I'll be playing the Talos Principle 2. I've been giving everybody a, a chance in my community to play uh, that before I jump in so that people can watch along with me. So hopefully by now, everybody is far enough ahead. Oh, yeah. I can start I playing that without spoilers. I'm struggle on the easiest puzzle. So yeah, we'll be playing... Um... <laughs> We'll be, we'll be playing Talos Net too, and then after taking like advice from other people, I will be playing Kingdom Hearts 2 before we do the um, 358 Super divided by two days. Boy. 
before we have the watch along of the uh, 358 <laughs> days divided by two. And for some reason, this guy wants me to play Super Meat Boy. <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, you got it right. You got to do it. gives it away. Uh, you you got to do it, man. So, you know. To be fair, I'd rather call it Kingdom Hearts 179 days, but hey ho. Take them hard stairs. Yeah. Kill those ants. Leave the ants alone, man. <laughs> Justice for ants. I'm already, um, I'm already gonna kind of say with this, um, I don't think the grind on Riku is gonna be as enjoyable as it was with Sora. I think just like the whole restriction on on the deck is just gonna make things a lot uh, a real, a real grind. Well. I can't say I disagree with you. I mean, what, what's your professional take, Deathwish? You know, clearly being a Kingdom Hearts expert and everything. Yeah, well, I mean, what's I've your, only... What's your, ta I'll... what's your take on how I should uh, approach this? Uh, keep... Well, you know, I've only played it like nine or ten times, 100% everything all the way through. So uh, I think you should just... Continue to, uh, you know, kick the ants' butts and the flying uh, prunes with the three arms. The meatballs. Yeah, uh, they're prunes. Yeah, they, they used to be plums, but. Then they grew three arms and turned into prunes. So, yeah, I don't know, dude. Uh, I think you should play Super Boy. You reckon? Uh, that that's just what I think. I don't know. I'm pretty uh, pretty similar there, Bone Washer. Like I. I, this is my first time through the the, the series. Um, it's one that I've wanted to play for a long while, so we are kind of doing the marathon. Albeit we're going to be um, taking a little break from it shortly, as we were just saying, to play the Talos Principle 2. Uh, he means Super Boy. And then Talos Principle 2. I have to ignore this like weird American guy that's on the other end of the phone here. He just, I don't know what he's talking about half the time. Can't stand his accent. Uh, Americans don't have accents, man. What are you talking about? Bruh. Oh, wait, what? What are you? <laughs> uh, uh, currently. Uh, the last birthday I had, I'm, I'm 31. Yeah, I beg to differ. Uh, 30, 32? Where you going? Uh, 29. Close. Okay, 28. Got it! <laughs> and what, killed to be 28 again. Ah, jeez. I'm yeah. a spring chicken compared to you, jeez. Back when I was still ripped. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I think I've ever been ripped, jeez. Uh, I, I was ripped most of my life until... 30s. 
That's because she was like such an athlete, though, to be fair, so. Yeah, I mean. Then, then I wasn't. You was an athlete, yeah. then you got old, and then you wasn't. Yeah, I kind of just, well, I won't, I won't go down uh, bad memory lane of, you know, the whole, what depression does to you and all that does, but hey, kick those ants' asses. I'll be honest, Bone Washer, Curtis is very generous. I still wouldn't believe him. And, I mean, what, and one, the, one and of the us... the thirties is old? Well, Knox old then. I was going to say, one of us is uh, end of thirties, but not the one that you think. <laughs> well, you're, you're at the end of thirties. You're correct. I've got um, 17 months left in my thirties, and then... That, super that, old. Then, then you become my age. Um, <laughs> then, being a bit generous with the underestimation there, I think. But... <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got, let's see, November, December, January, February. Three months until I'm 51. 51. Yeah. yeah. Gonna play over 60, Deathwish. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it's. Uh, trust me. You'll be 50 sooner than you think. Your kids will be driving and crashing their cars and stuff like that. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, for, thanks for having faith in my kids, like that they're going to be perfectly safe on the road. That's fantastic. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's just how it's going to go. We're going to try to teach them the I'm right not, way to I, drive. I, I guarantee I am. I haven't got the patience. I don't think to teach my kids how to drive. Oh, I did. I I taught them how to. You know, I pulled the e brake and and, the, and some little snow in the back parking lot, and had them slide out. And yeah, I've, ta I've taught them all kinds of stuff, so they can. Uh, yeah, they they're better drivers than ninety nine point nine people on the road. So yeah, and I taught I taught my oldest daughter how to drive a stick shift. And one day, the uh, hey, I mean, that's that's what I that's started pretty, driving. That's, was that's, a, that's a pretty impressive uh, achievement, though. To be fair, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think she, you know she was you know Savannah. But yeah, the oldest if one. anybody remembers, you know she sang. Uh, back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. And I was a high profile Portal 2 streamer. Yep. That's true. Can't deny it. But yeah. Uh, I spent. Uh, probably, I probably. I spent about half a day with her. Uh, driving, showing her how to drive the stick, and then and then letting her drive, and then explaining, and then yeah, she's she's quite good. Uh, I'm impressed with her. Uh, but yeah, and then I taught my youngest to. Uh, going to be 17 in March. Wow, 17. I, 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 I taught her how to drive. My my oldest, Savannah, is now 23. 23? Yeah. 
Holy crap. Yep. Do you remember when she was singing? Yeah, well, I, I, was, just... I had a bit of a stroll down memory lane a few months ago, actually. I was watching, um, I was watching that. I put together that like video in 2016 of like, um, like a YouTube rewind, but I just put it together myself. Um, so yeah, 2016 and that singing clip features in my 2016 video. Oh, really? So, you know, that's, you know, set seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah, she was 16 and my youngest was nine. Let's say, I, I remember Morgan was, um, like single digits when, um, you know, all that sort of stuff was going on and we, like, first started, like, prolabbing and stuff, so. Yeah. Uh, I, I have to say that, that that was a good time for me. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly missed that. But you know, things move on, and yeah, you know. But, uh, Tis what it is. And kill those ants. with all the horsepower. All the horsepower? Yeah, HP. You got a horsepower ah. up there. Horsepower points, clearly. <laughs> Horse points. What else could it mean? I have <laughs> no. no idea. It's horsepower. I mean, that's... Couldn't be anything else. I mean... Horses are featured so prominently in this game so far. I mean, it makes perfect sense, right? I think so. I mean, that's just me. I mean, what doesn't make sense is those stupid waiter pants with the suspenders. You also go on about them, dude. <laughs> the, the other dumb they're in just, those, those just... big ass shoes. What's up with that, man? I just... Uh, <laughs> they're just like... Proper, like, suspenders from, like, the future, right? From don't, the don't, future? Don't... Nobody wears suspenders. Nobody wears suspenders. I mean, even Mr. Bean doesn't wear suspenders. I mean, we call them braces over here, but they're like, you know, quite common attire if you're a farmer. Just saying. Okay. Uh, I don't know what kind of farmers y'all have, but jeez. We I have mean, the sort that um, ride around on tractors and harvest crops, you know, those sorts of farmers. Yeah, yeah, we do too, but they're, you know, they're, they're straight up using John Deere and they drive themselves you know they, you, you don't have to actually steer they, they literally drive themselves yeah my um one of my friends is uh he works he's a tractor driver and um he just like sets it up with gps and then just sits there yep that's so how they work you got the easiest job in the world just chilling out, AC kicking in the cab, and cruising on down. And you got, like, if you're harvesting, uh, the, the crop flows over into the truck, and then the next truck comes up when it's filled and takes its place. Boom, shaka laka. Super Meat Boy. And then. <laughs> 
Oh, oh you're in the Super Meat Boy, man. Jeez. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, I mean, everybody wants to see you play Super Meat Boy because, you know, Celeste. Uh, no, it, that's not good enough. You need to play Super Meat Boy in, in order to prove yourself. I mean, plain and simple. I know, just prove myself, yeah, because, you know, I haven't proved myself with the hundreds of hours I spent playing Celeste. Nope, nope. Celeste is garbage compared to Super Meat Boy. Whilst I don't, like, whilst, whilst it's not that I, I don't dislike Super Meat Boy, uh, sorry, no, let me start again. The only, like, better thing, I think, from, like, my naive experience with Super Meat Boy than it is Celeste is the fact that at the end of every level you get to call, see a cool animation of how you died hundreds of times all at the same time. <laughs> that's, that's the best freaking thing about Super Meat Boy. You know, you, you get to see every single death that it took you to get to the finish line. And you see that one guy, that one meat slab yeah. finally, finally make it. Ah, oh, so satisfying. <laughs> I don't like this like thing. Take this. Yeah, whatever this is called. Certainly not Celeste. Yeah. You're talking about this is definitely Celeste. Yeah, it's the 3D version of Celeste. Cool. Now we've already played that. Do you not remember me playing that? Uh, dude, you know my memories. As long as it's a roll of toilet paper. Yeah. Do you remember me playing the um, Celeste Portal mod? No, I do not, to be you honest. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, you talking about the one where you gotta climb up through the whole. The, where, when you like at the back going from like des the destroyed. Um, aperture under labs all the way up to like the new section and then you've got to you had to literally like jump and dash all the way up like through that tunnel it was insane uh, i think uh i i caught a tiny bit of that but i think i i was working a lot at that point i think uh i think i missed a lot of that wow you uh, missed but, my stream Albert. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, I'm gonna have to. So I'm, I'm seriously contemplating now stripping your uh, moderator oh, privileges God. because I mean, how can, how dare you miss a stream? Seriously. I, I, I apologize. I, I try my best, but sometimes, you know, things happen, and I, I, I. I I don't know what to say for myself. Uh, I, I feel horrible. Well, that's something at least, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I I mean, I tried. I tried, I really tried. You tried so hard, you got so far, but in the end, it, doesn't really it didn't matter. really matter. Right. <laughs> I tried uh, so hard. All right, well, I don't think I'm going to clear another two levels to get that hard hitter trophy because. Um, you I'm... suck, a Super Meat Boy! Let me just find that Discord mute button on two seconds. <laughs> hey, hold on, I got one myself. Here we go. <laughs> All right, well, there we go, guys. That has brought us to the end of our Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories playthrough, the second Kingdom Hearts game in our Kingdom Hearts um, marathon. Um, as we discussed many times, though, we are now going to be taking a break until we have cleared the Talos Principle 2, um, at which point we will be coming back 
to Kingdom Hearts with Kingdom Hearts 2 as opposed to watching the um, 358 over two days game. Uh, well, it's not a game, but it's a watch long movie, which I plan on streaming as well. So, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 when we return to the watch, uh, the, the marathon. Uh, as always, going to throw a raid to Marsh, but before we do, uh, thanks as always to Deathwish. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much for hanging. Thanks for having a chuckle as always. Hey good to have a chuckle. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, appreciate it, guys. So let's head on over to Marsh, who is, oh, look at that, currently playing Celeste, that great hardcore platforming game that um, everyone loves to talk about. Just saying. Deathwish. Super Meat Boy. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Ock, you've been awesome. Take care, stay safe, use your sort of stuff, and until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys.